You know, sometimes it feels like the FM9 and FM3 owners are waiting in line for the firmware updates that the Axe FX3 gets on a fairly regular basis. Now, every now and then the FM3 pulls ahead and the FM9 just feels like it is constantly in third place when it comes to firmware updates. Well, all that has changed with the latest beta firmware update. Let's check it out. The big news is the change to the main display. We now have a new large fonts display mode for the main preset scenes view. This was an unexpected but very welcome update. Scene names are now a lot more visible. No kneeling or squinting required. This will be a major help on stage. I put together a quick little preset to try out some of the new features. <laughs> you know, I don't think we could put all of the changes in one preset. This one's pretty basic. In and out blocks, then I added the gate, wah, comp, drive, multiplexer, amp, cab, and reverb blocks. I chose the modern expander type for the gate block. I chose the optical sustainer type for the comp block. I chose the paragon type for the wah block and then set it up with my expression pedal. I added the clone chiron type to the drive block. Now here's where it can get a little tricky. We're going to be testing the paragon wah and normally a wah gets activated as soon as you hit the expression pedal, no matter what scene you're in. But we also want to test the clone Chiron to see if they really fix the bug that occurs when using a modifier to change the gain value. And I'd also like to use the expression pedal for that. What can you do? That's where the multiplexer block comes in. I can do a video on that later if you're interested. Leave me a comment. It's a really cool feature that I hadn't tried until I put this preset together. The amp block is using the 59 Bass Guy reissue jumped in channel A, the PVH 6160 block crunch in channel B, and the Recto Red in channel C. I also went to the Dynamics tab for the 59 Bass Guy and bumped input dynamics to 1.60. If we look at the speaker impedance curves for the 59 Bass Guy, it's a 4x10 Bass Guy. We'll use factory 2 number 197, a 4x10 Bass Guy 57 in channel A. For the PVH6160 block crunch, the speaker impedance curve is a 4x12 PVH6160. So I'm using legacy number 107, a 4x12 PVH6160 mix. The speaker impedance curve for the Recto 1 Red is a 4x12 Recto Large. So in channel C, the cab block, I'm using factory tune number 800, a 4x12 Recto 57A. I'm using the echo plate type in the reverb block in channel A. Scene 1 will demo the 59 Bass Guy reissue jumped, with and without the Paragon Wah. We can look at the input dynamics too. Scene 2 will add the optical sustainer. Scene 3 will be for testing the clone Chiron with the expression pedal to see if any digital artifacts get introduced. Scene 4 will test the PVH6160 to check the gain knob response. Scene 5 will test the downward expander gate with the Recto 1 Red Amp. Now of course we could have tried some of the other stuff too, but then this video would be running long, and I don't think anyone wants to see a half hour video. All right, let's try out scene one. <laughs> Now let's mess around with the input dynamics a little bit. Yep, I like 1.6. Scene 2 is kind of noisy, but that's what the uh, optical sustainer does. Now let's test scene 3 using the expression pedal on the clone Chiron. All right.
Twilight Scene 4. And now scene five with the recto red. And you can hear right now, it is absolutely quiet. Now let's see what happens when I turn the gate off. And let me turn the gate back on. Just like that. Clean, clean, clean. All right, that's the end of the testing for this one, guys. Now, this was another big update for the FM9, and it pulls ahead of the pack with the large fonts display. Now, I'm going to assume that the Axe FX3 and the FM3 are going to be getting it soon, but until then, the FM9 is top dog. All right, now this Wednesday, we are gonna be looking at one of the entries in the Gift of Tone series. Now you don't wanna miss that. So go ahead and hit that subscribe button and ring that notification bell. All right, guys, have a great weekend and I will see you on Wednesday.